We're sitting down with the head baseball coach, Ryan Grice. And coach, you just got back from Florida. So A, we're a little bit jealous of you. <laughs> and uh, B, we kind of want to know what's going on down there. You guys got back from a trip where you went three and four overall. Talk about when you went down there, some of the goals and expectations that you had of your team. Well, some of the goals, I mean, we're so young. I mean, there were times that we were starting five sophomores and a couple freshmen in the lineup. So really, it was just, it was more or less to define roles. You know, see where guys were going to fit, see what guys were going to step up, see which older guys were going to step up and and kind of solidify their spot and, and what they're doing. And quite frankly, even the sophomores that were starting were all first-time starters because we had so many seniors last year. So really, our main goal going down there is to kind of see where in the areas that we needed to get better at. Uh, obviously coming back, looking at our stats defensively is an area that we need to get a lot better at. Um, you know, and kind of see what kids were going to step up and what kids were going to kind of solidify their spot, you know, and, and in their roles and kind of define their roles as we got back into, into the north. Well, I know that it's easy to get wrapped up in the offensive stats, and that's what popped out first when you mm-hmm. won a game against Brandy's College 18-6. to So overall, how what were your impressions of the offense that you displayed? Yeah, we came out of the gate swinging a little bit. Um, you know, they threw a pretty good pitcher at us, and we you know we ended up banging out close to 20 hits and, and 18 runs on that day. So it was a good, good first day for us. Uh, what we did see is we saw a lot of number ones and number twos down there. So we saw a lot of quality pitching, and I was actually very, very pleased with the way we came back offensively. And, and the approach that we took uh, with some of our guys. And having so many new starters in the lineup, uh, you really didn't know what to expect. I mean, we could have came back hitting 220, you know. But instead we came back hitting about 292. Uh, we do something that's called quality at bats. Our quality at bats that we were figuring out yesterday came back pretty good as well. Um, so really, you know, what we were looking to do is, again, solidify roles and kind of see who was going to step up and really in what order we needed to step up in. I mean, who was going to be that leadoff hitter? Who was going to be the tool hitter? We had a good feeling on who was going to be our three and four hitter with Bastin and Carnahan. Uh, we just didn't know who was going to protect them in the five hole. Uh, we had a good feeling about Foley in the leadoff role. We didn't really know about a two hole, and we really didn't know about the bottom of our lineup. So we had ideas. But those ideas can get shattered in a hurry, just depending on how, how guys play and, and you know what they're going to do when they come back. But, yeah, offensively, we did really well. I think we came back hitting 292. Um, and, we, and we faced a lot of good pitching, which I was happy to see. What I always talk to my guys about is who are the OAC quality pitchers that we're facing and who are the OAC quality competition that we're facing. Because since we play in one of the best conferences in the nation, you know, we want to make sure that outside of our conference we're facing – quality opponents and quality pitching as well and I thought coming back with the stats that we have and and some of the things that we did I was I was actually very pleased with the way our young guys swung the bats. We'll talk about some of that competition you went up against Brandy's, Alma College, Mm -hmm. Augustana who's Mm -hmm. pretty well known, Cleary, Houghton and Linden State. Just talk about those quality opponents and how they might match up to someone more familiar up here in the north. I think the the three that stick out to me and the and the guys that we faced were the Alma two Alma games which we lost both games one you know by one run each. Uh, good competition and of course the Augustana game. So you know Augustana last year was a 35 game winner. They were you know they got held out of the regional but I thought that they were certainly a regional team. Uh, and this year they were no different. They were quality and they threw a lefty at us that was with their number one last year and I think he's going to be their number two this year. So those three thing those three teams that I saw I, I really thought that they were, they were OAC quality teams, and I thought we matched up pretty well against them. Uh, as I've said, we just kind of got in our own way at times. You know, a few, few too many mistakes on the base pass, a few too many mistakes defensively, but those are all correctable mistakes. So I think seeing that type of pitching, and we saw, I think, six left-handed pitchers down there. You know, so that's something that's, that's good that, that uh, we were able to see because really you don't, you don't see a whole lot of left-handed pitching uh, as you go through the season. So for us to see that, that many left-handed pitchers to start out with, uh, I think is going, to be, is going to benefit us down the line. Well, let's talk more pitching because that was actually one thing that was pretty consistent. You yeah. saw some good things out of the starters as well as the bullpen. Talk about what maybe either surprised you or impressed you the most out of the pen. Well, again, we're young. You know, uh, we have two seniors on the staff with Colston and, and Fravel, uh, and they did they did good. They did well in their stats or in their uh, in their starts. Uh, the thing I didn't know is is what sophomores and what freshmen were going to step up. And the thing that came back to me is our ERA was three four, which is good, but opponents are hitting two seventeen off of us, and we also have a two to one ratio with strikeouts and walks. And usually with a young staff. 
it's tough for, it's tough for those guys to throw strikes all the time. And that's what they did. They went in, they competed, uh, they threw a lot of strikes, and they really didn't give, what we always say is we don't give the hitters too much credit. Because uh, this game is set up for a hitter to fail. So we want pitchers to go in there and throw quality strikes, be able to throw off-speed pitches for strikes. And I thought our young guys did an excellent job because our young guys came in in a lot of pressure situations. You know, some of those freshmen are, are in bullpen roles, whether it's short relief or in the back end. And they came in throwing a lot of strikes, and they did a really nice job. And like I said, if you can hold an opponent to 217 batting average, you've got a shot to win every game. Well, lastly, Coach, let's wrap up with just what was accomplished. You said that you were looking to fill some roles. Mm -hmm. You were looking to learn about your team as well as they learn about the collegiate game being so young. Overall, where do you grade the trip, and what was the biggest thing that you pulled away from it? I think the biggest thing is we know some young guys can really play. You know, and I know we're athletic. Uh, that was the one thing we knew going in is we were going to be pretty athletic. But we got a lot of things that we can we can adjust to. For example, at the end of the week, we started moving some guys around defensively. We moved Carnahan, which was at third, over to first. Moved our second baseman over to third, and then we're starting a new second baseman towards the end of the week to try to solidify some things defensively. And in the outfield, we got five or six guys that we can rotate out there, and they're all athletic. They all can play. Some of them have strengths that are offensive strengths. Some of them have strengths that are defensive strengths. But I think the biggest thing we came back is knowing that we got a very young team and we got a lot of guys that we can rotate through uh, and a lot of guys that are overwhelmed uh, being at the college level, which is nice. So I think, I think versatility is going to be a big strength of ours uh, and being able to do different things throughout the game that I don't think we've been able to do in the past. For example, if we can pinch it or if we need to make a couple, couple defensive substitutions, we're going to be able to do those things and not fall back in our talent. So I think that was one thing that was – that was accomplished on this on this trip is is uh, you know kind of seeing seeing some of the young guys putting some of the young guy, younger guys in some situations that maybe they're not used to especially at this level uh, so that was nice to see that they came through and and they made the mistakes but those are also correctable mistakes that you know that we can uh, we can start adjusting to and I think once we solidify our mistakes and like I said get out of our own way at times I think we got a chance to be a pretty good ball club well it sounds like there's a lot of growth going on and be sure all you Crusader fans to watch as this team grows Rose into a winner. Athletics.capital.edu. Keep up to date with all of the schedule changes as Mother Nature <laughs> deals a left and a right to us all at every does. bend. Yeah. All right, this is head coach Ryan Grice. Thank you, coach, for taking the time. All right, thank you.